Careless letter formation can also lead to other problems. A D can look like a C and an L close together and misformation makes cursive writing difficult because you aren't in the right place to make joins. For fluidity and speed, practice is important, good posture and commitment from your child. If you notice that your child has difficulty with sitting their letters on the line, you consider using a couple of different strategies like wiki sticks, sky, grass, soil paper, raised line paper, having thick lines on the paper or tactile cues. If you notice the sizing of their writing is not where it needs to be, you can consider using paper with thicker borders or mats paper that's gridded to give more support on how big their writing could be. You could also use the sky grass soil paper or color by numbers to help develop understanding of sizing of letters. If you notice your child has difficulty with spacing their words or letters correctly, you could use a lollipop stick to give a visual cue or their finger or a finger spacer. Also, you could create a verbal cue with your child to prompt them to leave a space. If you notice your child is creating reversals while they're writing, consider bringing it back to basics, going back to the pre-writing skills and using a multi-sensory approach to really ensure those pre-writing skills are there. You can also use visual scanning and verbal rhymes to prompt your child to think about which direction the letter should be going in. If you notice your child has poor fluidity of writing or their speed is slow, you could consider writing on different textures. So for example, you can write much faster on a whiteboard than you can on paper. So you can consider using that. You can use letter formation patterns or there are programs available like the Speed Up program. For cursive writing, formations need to be right to achieve correct cursive joins. If you finish an O at the bottom, you will join it up from the bottom and that creates something that's closer to an A than an O. If your child has legible print writing but cursive is a challenge for them, consider continuing with print writing. There are programs available for interactive whiteboards that show letters in black and joins in right. This may be a useful tool. Also consider if your child is stabilizing the paper. So use a visual cue of a hand on the table holding the paper to stabilize it. If they have difficulty copying from the board, consider their position in the class so that they're directly in front of the board with nothing obstructing their view. Consider the color of the writing on the board and different shapes or cues down the side of the board to help them copy. Consider using a sheet on the desk to help them figure out where to copy if they're copying from next to them. You could develop their visual perceptual skills by doing different games and activities like paint by numbers or where's Wally. For sloping writing, you can consider using a writing slope to help improve their posture. Use a visual cue at the end of the line to aim for. Consider playing games that encourage crossing the midline and prompt for paper position. So ensure that if they're a right hander, the right top hand corner is higher than the other and vice versa for the left hand side. If you notice your child has fluctuating pressure while they write, so maybe applies too much pressure or not enough pressure, you can use a pad of carbon paper to explore with them how much pressure they could apply. They can write over sandpaper to explore pressure. Occasionally writing on a slope can be useful for improving posture and improving pressure applied to the paper. A mechanical pencil can also be really useful because if you apply too much pressure while using a mechanical pencil, it will snap automatically and it creates an instant feedback loop about how much pressure to apply. There's also pencil grip activities, warm ups and writing on a foam pad that can help develop the pressure that your child is applying. So for example, here you can see the different pressures applied from far too light to far too heavy. If your child is applying excess pressure, they might leave holes or little rips in the paper. They may also need to sharpen their pencil frequently because the pressure is causing the tip of the lead to break. 
Um, they might also leave a very deep indent in the paper. And if they're holding their pencil with a lot of pressure, they may complain of pain or fatigue in their wrist or their hands or in their fingers. If they're also applying a lot of pressure to their pencil, you may see hyperextension in their fingers as well, and the tips of their fingers may blanch. If you notice that your child is applying excess pressure to the pencil and to the paper, there are some activities that you can do to assist. So you can regularly do games where pressure is placed through the upper limbs, so crawling games, wheelbarrow races, press ups, animal walks, these should ideally be included into your child's daily activity schedule and before they write. You can also use a light up pen as that provides a visual cue when they're applying enough pressure. You can use carbon paper between to highlight how hard your child is pressing. You can also use an upside down mouse mat to provide instant feedback to your child when your child is pressing too hard because a hole will be formed in the paper much quicker. If you notice that your child is writing with a very light pressure, consider adding weighted wristbands, which would provide extrasensory feedback to the wrist area, increasing the child's awareness of their hand, their wrist and their arm position. You could also consider completing proprioceptive activities to give them that feedback. Consider using softer leaded pencils, such as a 2B, so that the writing appears darker.